When former Portsmouth Mayor and State Democratic Party Chairman Richard Davis announced his Lieutenant Governor candidacy December 15th, most thought he would waltz to the nomination. Even supporters of challenger Ira Lechner admitted he was an underdog. But after a series of mass meetings, the candidates are running almost neck and neck. And that doesn't surprise Lechner organizers. No, we, we've worked harder than they have. We've worked very hard. We well, that's what I've been Davis doing. people say they She's aren't upset hard. about the Lechner showing, but the yeah. closeness of the race is causing both sides to trade charges of dirty or illegal tactics. I've had other people who have received 3 o'clock phone calls in the morning saying, uh, you, uh, calling them by their first name and saying you had better leave that campaign alone, and basically threats. It's certainly not coming from any of our people that I'm aware of. I think these kind of things are going to go back and forth, especially in the last couple of days before the final mass meetings are over. The Davis camp, meantime, charges Lechner's people have forged some petitions, a charge, of course, that is denied. Nonetheless, once you clear away the political rhetoric, there's no doubt that both sides are feeling good. I think we'll get the nomination. Are you going to win? Yes, we certainly are. Although the rural mass meetings, like the one here in Suffolk, are important, this Thursday will be an even more important date in this close race for the lieutenant governor nomination. That's when Richmond holds its citywide meeting with 165 delegates up for grabs, the winner taking all. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News.